Welcome to my craft room. So today we are going to continue on with some fun, easy crafts, things that we can do with our Cricut. Just some simple projects we can use as gifts or we can keep for ourselves. So tonight we are going to make a sign. This is a laundry room sign. So I have this sign blank. I got this from Target in their dollar spot for $3. And we're going to be using some little wooden clothespins. I got these in Walmart for a dollar. I think it was a dollar 47. And I've got a makeup sponge and I've got scissors because we're gonna cut this makeup sponge we only need a little piece of it no sense to waste and we'll put the rest back now I've got hot glue shoe polish kit now this shoe polish kit I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar And I am a fan of these little shoe polish kits. So this comes with brown and it comes with black. And we're gonna use the brown. Mm, we may actually end up using both because the brown's a little bit lighter than I want so we'll use we'll probably actually end up using a combination of both of them so we are actually going to use the shoe polish to stain our wood because it's a little bit it is a little bit lighter than what I want okay so we're just going to use our sponge and we're going to just stain our wood. Now, I really am a fan of using shoe polish as a wood stain. It works really, really well. It's inexpensive, and you don't have to put a wax on it afterwards. So a nice little trick also, just so you know, is the clear shoe polish or the brown or the black shoe polish can also be used as a wax over your chalk paint. And now if you use the clear, then it will pretty much Be the color that it's expected however just know if you use black or if you use brown um, you will add color to it that being said if you're trying to do some antiquing on your wood then that is it's a really good option So I'm just covering my little sign with my shoe polish. Being careful not to get it in the in the white since this one is already painted white for me. I'm not going to have to go back and do that, which is nice. So what this sign is going to say, oh, by the way, um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do so. I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to get this channel up and going, and I really want to be able to continue to bring videos to you. So, anyways,
like I said, the shoe polish is really nice. It's not going to give, you know, we're not trying to... color the wood completely we're just trying to stain a little bit and the other thing is this raw wood like this it just makes it a little bit softer which is also very nice so this sign what we're going to be doing is we're going to put the clothes pins with our hot glue on the edge of our sign and then we're going to just make a a decal out of vinyl that says missing socks looking for their soulmate All right, and then the shoe shine kit comes with this little guy in here, and I like to use it. And I just go in and just rub my wax. So as you can see, it just gives it a nice finish and it's already dry and usable. And the nice thing is the wood is soft now, so you're not having that splintering that you get from these pieces of raw wood. So that is just a nice, simple trick that I always like to share and then we'll stick this guy back in there and reuse it put my little rag in there and you know nice it nice little I have certain little dollar store finds that I love to use going to cut off the tags Now, I decided to use these little clothespins. You can use bigger clothespins. You know, whatever works for you. Um, you know, I also like the idea of putting some washi tape. On them now the one thing with big clothes pins is that your washi tape pretty much just fits you don't have to cut it right, so now we're just going to use our hot glue string I hate that it's like this industrial 
hot glue gun. So, get off my little hot glue strings. We don't need those everywhere. All right. So, there we go. And then we'll put our little vinyl. We've got, oh, we've got our little string. All right, so the other thing is, I mean, you can either can take some washi tape to it. Tape. I don't know, this is a little light. I was really hoping you could see more of the pink through it. But I think it's fine. So what I'm doing is, now I could put these in my Cricut. So let me tell you a quick secret with, with washi tape. One of the things that I do is when I buy stickers, I always save the cardboard backing that stickers come on. And the reason why I save it is for washi tape so I use that cardboard in two ways now if I am trying to cut out a sticker with washi tape like maybe I want to make put take the washi tape and make a design with it then I will put that washi tape along the slick side of that cardboard and I'll just line it up, overlap it, and then I'll put it in my Cricut and cut out whatever decal that I want. And then I can just lift it right off like a sticker and it'll be together and in that particular shape. Now, if I'm not trying to make a sticker, if I want to use washi tape and to just maybe make a shape, but I'm not gonna like necessarily stick it as a sticker. I want it just to be a shape, like a cardboard shape. Then I'll put it on the other side and do the same thing, except after I cut it out in the Cricut, then it's just a cardboard shape colored like the washi tape. And doing that also tends to protect my washi tape. I just pulled my thing off. Hold on, sorry. I pressed down on the end of it and made it pop off. Should still be hot enough to... All right, so on the washi tape, I just put the ends over and I'll just take them and fold them rather than try and, you know, cut a piece. And like I was saying, I could put this in my Cricut and cut it, but it really doesn't make sense to do that because it would 
just actually takes so much more time. All right so there we go you can see the color is very light on there it's a very light pink of washi tape but it looks good all right so now we are going to we're just gonna clean up this mess and we're gonna move over to the uh, Cricut okay okay so as you can see we have um, our Lost Socks Seeking Soulmate. And I took this off of Cricut Access. Since I do have it available, I like to try and use it um, as much as possible. I'm going to change that to a foil. All right, and I have everything ready. Let me switch put you over this way here. Alright, so now we're going to put, load our mat. Alright, and then while that's going, I do also want to show you, I did actually change the color of my washi tape because I wanted to do the gold, so I changed it to this blue with the gold lines down it. I didn't even take the pink off, it was so light. I just put this over top of it. I didn't show you doing it because it takes, you know, all of 30 seconds and we had already done it, okay? But I thought that would match a little better. Honestly, I could have done it. Okay. Let's see. pizza today we um, picked up lunch from blaze pizza I don't know if you guys have one they're so good but I tell you what that red sauce really gives me um, such heartburn I think I may need to sharpen my blade If you don't know, if you have to sharpen your blade, right here, don't change your blade until you've sharpened it. Let me tell you, I just sharpen my blade and I hardly ever have to change it. So take your blade out. Let me just show you real quick. Push this in like this. And you just in foil your blade is out see just do it a whole bunch of times in and out of the foil it will clean it I mean you can see how many holes I have in mind from doing this so much but it will clean it and it will sharpen your blade okay so just a tip is a tip I was very glad to learn Looks 
like it's only the L that's being difficult. This guy here with the little hook on it is really good for ones that don't cut super well. So you can like get into the little light cut and kind of grab it. Sometimes when I edit, I skip through some of the weeding and stuff like that just because it makes the video so long and it's tedious, you, you know, and you guys know how to do it. All right, so we have our Lost Socks, Seeking Soulmate. Super cute. Now, I will tell you, honestly, sometimes with big letters like this, I don't myself necessarily put them on transfer tape. However, when I'm doing a video, most of the time I will. Occasionally I don't, but most of the time I will. Just because I know, you know, a lot of people use the transfer tape. That's a total preference, but when the letters are big, a lot of times I'll just pick them up and kind of set them where I want them to go. But we'll use a transfer tape. So sometimes when you're doing your transfer tape, if you kind of bend this down and just roll it off, You see, it just kind of comes off a lot easier. The worst is glitter vinyl. I love glitter vinyl so much. It's so beautiful, but it's also my nemesis. Like, it's so sticky and so hard to get off. about it and it ends up on my board. So my daughter was quite uncomfortable today. I think she's kind of like doing some early labor stuff. I expect to have 
that grandbaby in the next couple days. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I feel good. I think they're going to be really good parents. They're both... Of course, you know my daughter. I think that she's the most wonderful thing in the world because she's mine and I love her. But yeah, I think they're both honestly just very good people. And, you know, she certainly picked a really good partner. Her husband is a really good guy. So I'm happy. And they... I'm happy for them. I'm happy for her. Because life is hard. So you need to at least do it with somebody that makes you happy. Alright, so you know you guys that know me know that I am not really a measurer. I am a kind of... Yes, sir. Ah, that's good. Put that down. Um, so the one thing I will tell you, I'm not going to press the L down really well because my Cricut on the, on the L, like I think my, like I was saying, I think my blade needs to be sharpened, but on the L, like on one side of it, it just really didn't cut it well. So I, you know, I just kind of got it out the best that I could. For the moment, I don't want to make you guys go through watching me have to redo it. But it's kind of good because I think it's good for us to talk about, you know, nothing's perfect. Every, you know, things happen sometimes. So, let me put all these down and I'll show you. Um, but it's nice because it's... It's a good time to remind you that, you know, things can be fixed. It's not a big deal. Like, what I'll do is um, I'll just go in. Let me show you. Just so you guys can see in case it happens to you. So, you can see. I've got my stuff up. So I'm going to go to detach. Okay. So now ungroup. I'm going to get rid of all of this. And now look, all I have left is an L. I'll hit make it. And it'll come on my mat like that. And I'll print it and fix my L. I won't make you guys watch that, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to fix. So, here we go. Lost Socks Seeking Soulmate. It's a cute, it's a nice little fun project. And it'll be cute in the laundry room. You were given this to someone as a gift like your sister, your friend, your neighbor, then I would even put like super fun, cute socks hung up to it because I've got like so many adorable socks. So you could like even hook some cute socks to it and then give it as a gift. However, for me, I'm fixing the L and it's going in my laundry room. All right, listen, you guys have a great rest of the night. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Have a good night.